in church one day, my ear kind of walks up to me and says, hey, he said, uh, we're thinking about starting a new program, see if you would be interested in being a part of. Uh, didn't know it was going to turn into what it has. Uh, we had uh, just a small dream, but it's it's turned into, you know, as you can see, something something big. The uh, amphitheater was built in 2014. A perfect hillside that uh, myself and another commissioner was out here one day. It's like, you know, this is just the perfect spot for an amphitheater. And we kind of ran with it. I, as one, uh, didn't, didn't feel like it would be as big as what it has gotten. We're averaging the last two years about eight or nine concerts a year. Yeah, I think it's, it's starting to catch on. People are starting to realize that we are here. We're bringing quality entertainment. The most common reaction is they can't believe that we have such a big amphitheater in such a small town. They just can't believe it's here. Um, and that was kind of the town, too, you know, that we were going to do something this big. So that's why I always tell people we're a small town with a big time amphitheater. The neat thing about Beaver Dam is you have this small town of 3,600 people with this world class facility. And we bring in folks from literally every state in the United States, but we always have that group of people who have never been here. And we watch them as they enter, enter through the, the ballpark back there and they come around the bend and they see this facility. And then the wow factor when they come right around the corner. And, and that's, that's what it's all about when you have that magic and you have those folks who travel two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hours to come experience a show in Beaver Dam, Kentucky. You may have seen your favorite act somewhere. You may have seen them at Red Rocks. You may have seen them at the Ryman, but you haven't seen them at the dam. Come to the dam. You're going to have a damn good time.